Ladies and gentlemen, it's the old Crypto Crow. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I was trying to get on a little bit earlier. I'm trying to try different times to see what uh, what's going to be mo most effective. And um, yes, tonight I'm going to be talking about Cardano a little bit. Like I, I, I spent hours today putting something together that some of you guys are going to chew apart. And you're going to call me crazy. And you're going to say, Crow don't know shit. Or you're going to say, man, that dude's so coked out of his mind. Because I see your comments sometimes. And I, it seems like the people who always accuse me of being coked up are the, are the ones who I think are actually coked up. Because they keep commenting on my backdrop and how crazy it is. <laughs> I don't do drugs, folks. I'm just a little nuts. Um, what's up, Thomas Crumbaugh? Uh, no sound. Where's that Rena? What do you mean no sound? Um, did the sound not work with that intro video? Is that what you guys are telling me? Let me know what's up with that because I created a full, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's up. What's up? Music was loud, but you're a bit low. Oh, interesting. Um, I'll bring this a little closer, maybe. Maybe that's got to be sticking right in my grill, and then you can hear me a little better. Okay, so there's sound. All right, we're good. I don't know. People post stuff uh, or uh, make comments, and it's like, uh, I, there's no reason for that, uh, or for that to happen. Okay, what's your obsession with crows? No, it's <laughs> silly. I don't know what it is. Um, <clears throat> when I was a kid, I, I had a, an internet handle um, that related to crows, and uh, I don't know. I loved the movie. Like when I was a kid, I used to sit around and I would, I know this is going to sound super emo. I was kind of emo as a kid. Go figure. Um, but, uh, I would sit around and light candles and I'd turn on Sarah McLachlan and then I would just draw pictures from the Crow graphic novel. And, um, <laughs> it's what I did as a teenager. I mean, I don't know, um, that back then I wore all black clothes. I had long hair down to here. And, um, so yeah, I don't know. Just, I, I think it's been more about the crow movie than, than anything else. It's just kind of stuck. So that was one of my favorite movies ever, 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 ever. And then, and you know, the fact that like Brandon Lee basically died filming that movie, it just made it that much more kind of mystical. And, um, yeah. So <clears throat> did Sierra get a job? I, you know, I don't know. I, she's going to do some test videos and we're going to see. We're going to see. I think her parents are on board with it. Um, she I don't even think she lives with her parents. So, um, but, uh, you know, it's her idea. And I said, hey, well, we'll see. Let's let, let's see what um, what comes of it. Okay. So, I guess before. All right. So, here's what I want to do. And for whatever reason, I'm getting some dropped frames. I don't know why exactly. I'm guessing maybe my router needs to be restarted or something. Um, so, hopefully, the video quality isn't terrible. Eh? And, um all right, so let me get my window capture going here real quick because I changed some things. There we go. All right, so I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> and, okay, so basically, <clears throat> better growth potential. Man, Cardano, I think, is going to be crazy. Um, it, now, here, I'm not going to, so... <laughs> All right, so all right. First of all, looking at the market right now, Bitcoin still dipped under eight thousand, which you know it, it's not surprising me. Market cap's three hundred billion dollars. Now, first thing I'm going to get into, it's very simple for those of you that don't really understand market cap. Uh, I'm going to give you a very quick lesson in what the market cap is and how it gets to be where it's at. All right, so I got to bring this above. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so this is an image that I worked on today. And I I worked on this, not this picture, but I worked on what 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 my I worked on a lot of this. I was conf I was calculating so much stuff, and I'm not a math wizard. So some of you guys who are much smarter than me, I'm sure are going to pick me apart for some of this. And you're going to let me know in the comments, which is totally cool, okay? It's totally cool. I don't really consider that kind of stuff trolling because I'm known to make some errors. <laughs> because I get so caught up and then I, you know, I'm doing so many different things at once. So things don't come across um, the way I want. But the first thing we're going to talk about is down here. So 
the the market cap is basically the current value of all circulating coins, okay? And to give you an example about how that's calculated, if you have 100 coins, let's say you have 100 coins on the market, 50 of those were bought at a dollar, 25 of them were bought at $2, and 25 of them were bought at $3, your total market cap for those 100 coins would be $175, okay? So the the market cap doesn't necessarily mean that's how much money is in the market that's just what the value of the current coins in the market are so <clears throat> to to put it in a perspective let's say i launch um let's say i launch a million coins okay uh, I, I launch a million crow coins and in the process of 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 people buying those coins let's say it starts off at 10 cents and then, you know, a thousand people buy them at, at 10 cents and the, the, the price continues to go up, right? Well, by the time the price, the volume has driven the price of the, the coin up, everybody that bought the coin at less are now still worth what the current ask is, right? So that current ask basically trickles down to every coin in circulation, providing the complete and total market cap, all right? So that's how that stuff is is configured and, and looked at. Now, hopefully that's clear to everybody and you guys kind of understand. Now, Cardano two times total market cap in ten months. Ha ha, good joke. This is where this is where we're gonna get. It's gonna get interesting. So, in 2016, the total market cap. <clears throat> this is total market cap, mind you, not just Cardano. Okay, because I'm gonna be doing this. It was a real pain in the ass to figure this stuff up. I don't even know if I could explain it and how I came to some of these numbers clearly again, uh, but I'm going to do my best. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to create a more system, uh, a formulated system in Excel and see if I can't do something similar to this with other um, coins, at least maybe the top 20. And so in 2016, January of 2016, the market cap was $7 billion, Okay. So, and that was one and a half times what it was in 2015. Then in 2017, the total market cap was $21 billion for a 3X multiplier uh, over 2016. Then we get to 2018. The market cap was $768 billion at the height of the year, um, and which was a 36 times gain on overall market cap, all right? So we went one and a half times to 3X to 36X. Now, January 2019, I know you're going to call me crazy, but I'm going to be predicting a $15 trillion market cap. Yes, I'm saying it. Yes, I'm saying it. Why? Why am I looking at this and I'm, and, and all of it, I'm putting it out there for everybody to call me a crazy nutbag? Okay, because I know you are now. A, we have regulation coming into the space that's clearing and, and, and basically paving the way for the comfort levels necessary for institutional money to enter the market. Even if there were only as much as $5 trillion that entered the crypto market in 2018, that, that insurgence of capital going into the crypto space could very easily push us to a $15 trillion market cap. $10 trillion, forget about it, okay? Now, that is going to happen in 2018. I firmly believe we're going to see an insurgence of institutional money enter the cryptocurrency market. Now, that being said, and let's just assume that that's true, okay? I'm going to tell you now that the price of Cardano, my, and this is the first official, I'm calling this my first official price prediction, folks. Okay, now I, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm saying I think it will. I think it very well could. I think it's more probable than not. And it's 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 not it's not the hundred dollars that you think. Okay, that was an off the cuff kind of excitement, like oh this could go crazy. I really spent some time crunching this down to figure out realistically what I see the price of Cardano being in 2018. Actually, more January of 2019, okay, to be precise. But I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Now, the current price right now is $0.16. Cents. 
So the price that I the 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 price that I'm thinking for Cardano, thirty two hundred dollars invested in the Cardano right now could potentially earn four hundred and eighty thousand dollars in pro in, in profit basically um, when it reaches the price. What is the price? Well, so right look at some of the historical numbers, okay? When Cardano was at its all-time high of 1.23 cents, the market cap at the time was 32 billion. Now, this was Cardano's market cap. This was this was a part of this 768 billion. So you're looking at a 32 billion dollar market cap to get Cardano to 1.23 cents, all right? Now, if the same multipliers were to take effect, okay, if everything, if all of this were to, and, and I was looking at the previous growth of Cardano and all of that stuff. Now, if all of this were to trend forward, all right, into a $15 trillion market cap, which again, you're looking at one and a half times, three times, 36 times. I was even conservative in my estimate at a 20 times gain because I don't see more than this hitting the market in 2018. Um, I honestly think that this could be somewhere between 10 and 15 trillion, but again, that's a market cap. So anything could potentially happen. Here's the thing. When the big institutional money enters in from the United States, a lot of these other countries are going to be following suit. By this point, we're going to have a lot of other countries and their own regulations and their own systems already full speed ahead. I think we're going to see a lot of this positive uh, a lot of positive announcements. I think we're, when the when the bull trend starts, a lot of these companies will have had the down market to get their shit together, and I think that's when things are going to really start turning around. And like I said last night, you could put money into almost anything right now, and in 2018, you're going to make a profit if you know when to get out. Okay, now. Cardano's market cap, I expect to see $625 billion. And that is, yes, that is almost what the total market cap was in cryptocurrency in January of 2018. And I believe that this is going to be entirely possible, not only possible, but probable, because I think as more of this institutional money comes into the market, I think a lot of this money is probably going to be supporting Cardano as a third gen cryptocurrency over Ethereum. A lot of this institutional money, in my opinion, is probably going to go into Ethereum as well. Of course, it's going to go into Bitcoin. Bitcoin could very well be $100,000 by this point. Okay, and that's it's as crazy as it sounds. If I were doing a video back in January of 2017 telling you that the market cap was going to be 36 times greater than it is right now, you guys would all be sitting there telling me I was freaking nuts, right? So, for me to say that this 15 trillion dollar market cap is possible in 2019, while it may not make sense to some of you guys. A lot of you math wizards who are much better at me at math and can kind of go through the historical figures, go through the different coins, put two and two together, put all of the, the regulation, everything that's going on in the crypto space right now, the foundation is being laid, folks. The, the foundation is being laid for the house and the roof. And that house and roof is institutional money that we desperately need to truly be a to kind of go out of the independent and into the mainstream. We've touched those waters this year, which is why the market cap got to where it was. So hopefully everybody understands everything that I've been saying so far. I'm only 15 minutes in. I'm making good time. I'm trying to make these videos shorter because <laughs> I'm tired of everybody bitching about how long I ramble. Um, so what is my price prediction? $24, $24. Now I'm going to see what your, what your comments are on $24 before I move forward. Cause I want to explain some other things too. So <clears throat> I know there's a big delay on the video and so forth. So, um, so basically $24 is my prediction for January, 2019 for Cardano. And, and that's like my realistic, um, late night rambles are great. 
So uh, longer videos are better. 24 by when crypto crow i had 25 i'd be happy fifth 24 dollars 24 dollars that'd be sweet good so so now here's the thing now this is this to me is a very i like to be conservative believe it or not i know based off of these crazy numbers i do like to be conservative and to me 24 dollars is conservative and the one reason why i feel it's conservative is because in looking at the, the fluctuations of the price based off of the different stages in market cap, at a $15 trillion market cap, $625 billion market cap for Cardano alone, the price could honestly hit 50 bucks. $24 does not account for some of the exponential growth interest over a period of time, over the period of time that it went from A to B. I didn't calculate that shit because I'm not that smart. So I just left it at $24 to be lazy. I'll be straight up with you. If the rest of my numbers add up, the exponential growth of Cardano over the time period that it goes on to this bull run, it could be 50 bucks. But I say $24 because that's what I'm basically planning on. And that, folks, is my Cardano prediction. Peace out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so let's see, 50 K ADAs. Will I make it? I, you know what? And that's the thing. This is the thing that sucks. I, you know, I was going to try and pick up some more on an exchange and, um, and the exchange has, has Cardano shut down. It's been shut down for two days. So I can't even buy anymore. I want to buy more. Um, but I can't. And now some of you guys are going to be like, where can I buy Cardano? And no, no, Cardano is not paying me squat to talk about them. I just love the coin. I really do. I just love it. And it's 16 cents. I mean, it's stupid. 15, 15.9 cents, still 16 cents. Once you're picking it up on an exchange, you're going to be driving 16 cents. So, um, people are like, well, how do I buy Cardano? So go to coinmarketcap.com. Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 where is it? There we go. I think that's it. All right. Um, so on coin market cap, uh, just click on Cardano. So if you, if you're, if you, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to what's popping off up in the crow's, crow's nest here, um, I really do need to create a studio that looks like, that's like crow's nest out. Like it's just, I don't know. Uh, Anyway, so you come here, <laughs> you click Cardano, and then when you're here, you're going to click Markets, okay? These are all the exchanges that you can pick up Cardano on. So let's say you were going to get it a Binance, you can buy it on Binance with Bitcoin, Ethereum, okay? If you're on Bitrix, you can pick it up with a, there's a, bit, uh, a Bitcoin pair, and so forth and so on. You can, uh, on Gate and Upbit, you can buy it with USD Tether, you can buy it with Tether, um, Verbitcoin, you can buy it with Try. I don't even know what the hell Try is. I'm just kind of basically giving you examples. All these different exchanges carry Cardano, so that's where you can buy it. Now, uh, you know, all things shiny. <laughs> it's pumping. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Well, this is live, and oh, wow, I'm back to like almost 500 people. Maybe this is a good time. <laughs> Hopefully people, either that or people just really like Cardano talk. I don't know. But, um, you know, so this this is this is my prediction. I, and I and I honestly I stand behind it. I think this is really probable. To be quite honest with you, I think that Cardano could hit 24 bucks and even half that market cap. Like I said, I didn't calculate all the exponential growth. And and it's that that was significant. I didn't even know what kind of figures to cal calculate into a formula like that. So a formula. So again, I'm not a math wizard and I'm not half as smart as I was when I was a kid. Half my brain cells are gone with old age. So um, I just got 1700 Cardano. And, and again, you know, I'm not giving you guys financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy Cardano. I'm not tell I want you guys to play with the numbers yourself. See what you come up with. Do some of your own research. Read about the coin, read about, and I'm not even trying to pump it because I, I want the value. I, 
I don't need any of you guys to buy this to, for, for, for my coin to go up. You know what I mean? I do own Cardano, and I'm very proud of that fact, but I don't need you guys to run out there and buy it. I'm not trying to pump this because I, I need to. This is going to do its own job over 2018 with or without any one of you, I'm, I assure you. So, um, you know, so keep that in mind, but do your own research. I am still very much passionate about Cardano. Um, and I think it's going to do really, really good things now, uh, 22 minutes in. So I want to try and do this video and keep it at about 30 minutes. I want to see if I can start cutting these videos shorter and, and, um, and then maybe, maybe come back. I'm, I'm going to do like big long hangouts and stuff like that on weekends. So anyway, oh, um, one thing I want to point out, let me see if I, I don't know if I can log on on this or not, but Rena Harris song. I go slow. Mm, I don't know. Hold on a second. Um, I'm going to see if I can log into this. I don't think I can on this browser at all. Um, yeah, I've got two. I have to. I have like two factor and all kinds of stuff on everything I try to log into anymore. So I don't even. I can't even log in. But anyway, Rena Harris' song "I Go Slow" is available on Spotify. And it's been added to iTunes. However, when I just went to try and test it, it is he, I guess there's a setting that's messed up and you can't get it on uh, in the United States yet. So he's going to work on that. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to let everybody know. Go and go, go and pick it up. And uh, it's not a gay song, you tool. It's an amazing song by an amazing vocalist. I bet you listen to Slayer or something, don't you? Like in your basement drinking energy drinks while your mother yells at you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop drinking all those damn energy drinks. Um, look, I don't have to, I don't have to play it tough. I'm a badass son of a bitch. I'll listen to what I want. Emotional or not. How about them apples? Um, all right. So uh, crow hire me. Tell me what you need done. I'll do it. Um, I'm always looking, look, when I'm, when I'm looking to hire people for different tasks or jobs, I go to my telegram channel. That's where I hire people. So if you're not in there, you're missing out. I've already hired three different people for stuff out of my telegram channel. And, um, yeah. So now I will let you guys know something that I am working on for the future of the crypto crow show. Um, I want to do something that nobody else on YouTube, to my knowledge, has done, especially not independently anyway. Um, but I am looking to, I'm making plans to go to actual television. And I know that sounds a little crazy, right? You're like, but Crow, you got like 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. and and um, But I want to reach new people. I want to reach people that aren't you know, the, those of you that find me on YouTube, you got, I know Slayer is actually pretty good. I, I, mean, <laughs> I was just being silly. Um, I, I used to listen to Pantera and, and uh, Metallica and a lot of that stuff when I was younger. Not, not like I listened to everything. Honestly, I listen to everything, but country country. I just, I just can't do it. I can't do country. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with it, but can't do country. So, um, uh, yeah, I still think dent coin is going to be fine. I think it's, I think all, all, all this stuff is going to get back to where it is. So, uh, so basically what's happening. So I talked to a guy today from CBS and he, we talked about, um, you know, kind of what my plan for the, the, the show was, what my plan is on YouTube and what, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm very likely going to go ahead and sign some of this paperwork here to get my channel. Uh, we're going to set up a channel on Roku and some apps and things like that. And ultimately I just want to increase my reach. And, you know, one of the big ways I think, so obviously those of you, um, you know what, maybe I'll pull one up. I'll pull one up and show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, I wonder if it'll, let, I need to make sure it'll let me show you guys. <laughs> um, I might not be able to show you my own content. Um, but I'll give you an idea as to like I had Phil Baroni as a um, commentator on my show for any for any of you guys that know him. And let's see. Welcome back. 
back by your fans tonight on this week's edition. So, here, let me put this on, and I'll show you. Like, I had a TV show before already, and... <clears throat> of the MMA Big Show. Jason Moore makes his amateur debut as he battles it out with TJ Stone. Then, for tonight's title fight, 18-year-old Chris Bennett is challenged by the dangerous Dan Mundy. It's the MMA Big Show, brought to you by Pure Romance. So anyway, this was the show. I don't want to air too much of it because I don't even know what my own copyright is on these videos. Um, but, you know, MMA Big Show, I had like um, MMA. Some of my videos, I don't even remember what happened. Some people downloaded them and, and um, pirated them and did all kinds of stuff. Um, but f like I had Phil, Phil Baroni, Jeff Picoro. I think it was, I think they talked a lot. Of this I'm Misty Stallia, and this uh, UFC is the MMA veteran Big Show Josh of Hendricks either. fight. Get one ready of my for intense fighting one. style. Does get the title? That was Missy Scalia. You know, uh, guy's a tough guy. He's got a Hendricks. good, tough chin. And, um, you know, I, I think he's got a lot of experience. He's probably been in there with some guys like me. I mean, Danny Severin's a tough dude. You know, so I think uh can fight. I love him. Been working on defending that. Feeling this pretty good, dude. Pretty confident coming into this fight. I'm going to tell you guys, this guy, for real, Brian Hedin. Um, so I'm going to tell you, and this is completely unrelated, I know. Here's my ramble, I guess. Screw the 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> but this dude, you got to look this cat up. So this guy used to be, like, really big, like, really, really overweight. And he lost a bunch of weight. And when you when you meet him, he's very unassuming. He, just, he looks like a pretty stout guy. But, uh... I have never seen a man take more abuse in my life than Brian Hedin. It, it, since since this night, he's gone on to do all kinds of great stuff, beat some pretty big UFC veterans. He's a heavyweight. So sitting cage side during this fight, this is the first time sitting cage side at a fight, you could I felt these guys hit each other through my legs into my body. And I'm not kidding. When these guys would hit, it was like two gorillas, man. And this fight went like three full rounds. Um, hold on. I'll see if I can. I'll show you just a couple of clips. Ashland University in the NCAA. Andrew shoots his wrestling gets to the ground. Did he get on? You used to keep it on the feet, man. You don't hear Je or, uh, Phil Baroni talking. Yeah, that, that's his game. Two-time all local wrestling. Take him down, get on top, grind and pound, and look for the submission. Phil Baroni, man. He was a trip. He was fun, though. He, he was a lot of fun. He's back. Um, open. Well, Wait, anyway, I don't want to take forever to find it, and I don't want to... I'm hoping this doesn't... Like, I aired that... I played that one music video, uh, and it, it, like, shut my whole video down. So, but you can watch them. I mean, MMA Big Show, you'll find a whole bunch of videos. Here's a season one trailer. Maybe this is what I was thinking. Hold on. We are here for another action-packed night at this the MMA the Big Show. This is the trailer for the season. This fight is coming up. Stay with us. It's fight night. This is the MMA Big Show. Coming to the cage. Well, this is the fight that everyone was waiting for. And boy, he just tore him up in yes. one round. MMA Big Show. There I am. Oh, you can't even see Close a big shot. Got him extended. Oh, man. Right to the left. So first. No, I'm not. Okay, so let's get back on the top. Um, but anyway, this is just to show you I've done TV and stuff like that before, and, and uh, you know, it's all good. And I am, I'm actually, I'm actually looking to, I'm probably going to start in a regional market. So I'm probably looking at like Cincinnati, Chicago, New York, maybe um, some of the larger cities, but ultimately I'm looking to get my reach out 
So if I, so each market that I air has the potential for like, you know, anywhere from two to 10 million people. And so that's, that's kind of the goal. I'm probably going to start regionally and then grow nationally. My, my, what I'd like to do is start with a smaller market, a regional market with the show and hope that one of these networks basically looks at the numbers and said, look, people are watching this guy. Let's, let's pick him up. You know what I mean? So, um, Daedalus wallet for Cardano. That's right. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I'm pretty excited about it and there's, there's, uh, there's a lot going on right now. So I'll be sure to let everybody know what's coming, but there's, there's a lot coming. Like I want to, I want to expand this reach. I want to take things a lot more seriously. Not that I don't already, but I, I, I just, I want to, I want to, I want to bring more people into the crypto space in 2018. I want to make sure that I get to that $15 trillion market cap. <laughs> um, all right. So anyway, uh, let's see. I'll answer some questions. We're at 32 minutes, so I'll answer some questions, and then um, we'll probably cut off for the evening. Um, you, store your, you store your Cardano with the Daedalus wallet. And proof of stake for that, I'm I'm pretty sure is going to be launching within, uh, I'm guessing, 30 days or so. So I have to double check on that. All right, let's see. Uh, you can always send it out on YouTube too, right? Yes, I will. So initially what's likely going to, well, what's going to happen with the TV show is I've got two different editors that I'm talking to right now about editing 13 episode seasons. And what will happen is, some like some of the paid ICO reviews that I do, they'll be given an option. They'll either be they'll be just just for YouTube or they could be YouTube and terrestrial television. And so those those segments will be cut out of the videos ultimately that I put on YouTube and and edited into 30 uh, 30 minute television shows. That's basically how it's gonna work. So not much is gonna change with this initially. At some point in the future, I could decide, you know what, I'm going to go lease a space and actually build a studio with, you know, really professional equipment and lighting and all that fun stuff and might actually have a staff and try to do multi. I mean, it, it, how, how big this thing could get, who knows, we'll see. Uh, I'm not expecting any um, anything crazy, but... And a lot, if, if, if we get to that point, a lot of things about my show are going to have to change. Like I'm not going to be able to say a, a single cuss word, really going to have to format the show. Um, probably have to go more with like a Doug Polk style, which I really like quite honestly. I like the way he, his, his videos are so clean. And by the time I've done watch one of his videos, I'm like, well, how the hell did he get all that into 12 minutes? It's like, and he's got a really good editor. So, you know, that's ultimately what I'd like to get to, but I also think it would take some of the kind of hometown kind of. Um, I don't know the feel for my show, I think is, is it's not produced, right? Like my show really isn't that produced. I mean, I, I do what I can, but ultimately it's just, it's just my thing. Um, so anyway, yeah, CBS is what, uh, CBS and the CW is basically what we're looking at. Um, mm, no, Cardano is not ERC 20 Cardano is its own blockchain. This is third generation. This is, this is beyond ethereum crow if your ada prediction is wrong we'll go streaking through your neighborhood in winter time <laughs> hey that's like i said man i could be completely way off i don't don't take my word for it never buy anything that i talk about just because i'm talking about it in a positive light always do your own research and make sure that you know what you're getting into um do I want a crazy Cajun involved? I had one of those in the fight show. He was literally a crazy son of a bitch. He was fun, but he was crazy. Um, Crow Cardano, $24 to $50. Don't you think Cardano can take off over 100 plus in strong bull run? I also think we are going to death cross Bitcoin down to $6,000. Uh, look, Anything is possible. People have been have been technical analysis guys have been talking about Bitcoin getting down to six thousand dollars now for a month, and you know, is it possible? Yeah, it is. But there seems to be a lot of what I've been seeing recently. There's a lot of support for uh, support of Bit in Bitcoin. Um, you know, in the seven thousand, uh, really where it's at, like where it's it's been hanging pretty steady 
around the 7,800 mark. Watch, I'll click over to 74. No. Yeah, but I mean, it's been hanging pretty steady around here for like two solid days. So, the, I, and I haven't even looked at any charts on my own recently, but I have to assume that there's been some pretty strong consolidation. Now, when that happens, when 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 the when the when Bitcoin goes sideways for a good period of time, one of two things happens: it either starts shooting to the moon or it drops quite a bit again. So we'll see. I I don't know. Could it get to six thousand? It could. Um, so, but I just I don't necessarily I don't think it's likely. I really don't think it's likely. I think once the once news and all the positivity. And uh, a lot of these positive articles and things like that start getting churned back up. I think we're going to start our bull run, but we'll see. It may not come until um, it may not come until next month. Uh, let's see here. Any thoughts on Circle buying Poloniex? Being Goldman Sachs is involved. I mean, there are going to be a lot of big power players getting more involved in the space this year. That's what I'm telling you. A lot of the stuff is happening to lay the foundation for institutional money that I think is going to completely change the game that you and I know. And um, <clears throat> that's it. Crow, I like you a lot. You're really good. I feel like I know you. You're a great people person. Well, thank you, Owen Kelly. I appreciate that. I don't know how many people would call me a great people person. I tend to rub people the wrong way sometimes with my uh, blunt honesty. <laughs> I never mean to. Never, ever, ever do I mean to hurt anybody. Um but like my wife always says, like she's, what did she say? Oh, she said, nice people love me. Uh, mean people hate me. And so that, that just seems to be the case. Will may be the start of the bull run. Possibly. I sure hope so. It sounds like it's going to be, uh, we just have to wait and see. Look, I, you know, when it comes to cryptocurrency, the one thing that I've learned to be true and absolute fact is nobody knows shit. Plain and simple. Everything that we all do when we're talking about ICOs, when we're talking about uh, when we, just everything that we talk about, it's all pure speculation. That's why this is so risky because it's none of us have a clue exactly what's going to happen because everything and anything can change 100% overnight, anytime. And so, you know, that's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, you know what I will say? Oh, I will update everybody on this. I'm really kind of pissed about this. So one ICO that I was promoting that I was really kind of even emotional about has completely failed. And I hate to say it, but apparently Sasha, the CEO, I guess they refunded everybody. Um, crypto hunt. I don't even think the website's going to be up. There it is. There's the Crypto Hunt website. It's a pretty sad shame, folks. Uh, I've heard different stories. I even talked to the, one of the, the main advisors um, of the project, who's one of the guys that brought me in and kind of you know showed me everything. And um, he, he said that, I guess, there were a lot of issues with the development team um, struggling, I guess, with, with Sasha. And I, and I don't know any of this to be true hundred percent. It's all kind of just rumor. Um, but you know, I guess there was a picture that came out recently of Sasha, the CEO of the company in the hospital. Apparently he suffered some sort of seizure and that's why I guess there was a 2.0 version of the ICO that I wasn't even privy to. I didn't even know about that, but I guess everybody from the original ICO was refunded and I guess they only got like 10 Ethereum or something like that and their, their ICO 2.0, which wasn't enough to cover some of the management expenses of running. I don't know. But either way, it took a dump. <clears throat> Crow versus Supo cage match. <clears throat> no comment. Um, let's see. I love BitConnect. That's so funny. Yeah, BitConnect. What's, I think, what's BitConnect now? A dollar? All right, folks, so I'm not going to drag this out tonight. I appreciate every one of you guys showing up. Uh, I am going to play Rena Harris No, I Go Slow because I swear to God that song has been in my head all damn day and I haven't listened to it. And you guys really need to get, uh, get on the ball. If you haven't already, you need to download all these songs. Um, you can download all the songs for free, so I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> make a donation. Um, you can donate in, in Ethereum or Bitcoin. You can download all three versions of the Crow Your Coin song here. 
You can listen to I Go Slow, which is what I'm going to play right now, and I'm going to play it loud and proud as I sign out. Thank all you guys for really uh, a, a good group tonight. Lots of good questions. Hopefully um, this, this video is educational. Um, get on my Telegram channel. I'm telling you, we have a lot of fun in there, especially lately. So uh, get on Telegram. Get on uh, thecryptocrow.com. Join us on our forums, and hopefully I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow, most likely. Until then, crow your coins. seen a place like this before not afraid to go ahead as long as you're with me i'll go on even if it takes me all my life i'm not afraid to do it right as long as you're with me i know you want to go Slow, boom, boom, boom. Yes, I go, but I go slow. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I go, but I go slow. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I go, but I go slow. I go slow. I go slow. I go slow. So slow Hold your breath and spin around Jump off the cliff into the underground Hypnotized by the changing lights Come with me, we'll reach new heights Hold your breath and spin around Jump off the cliff, dive into the underground Hypnotized by the changing lights Come with me, we'll reach new heights Never been at ease like this before And everything falls into place As long as we follow what's true Even if it takes me all my life I'm not afraid to do it right As long as you're with me, I know You wanna go Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I go, but I go slow I go slow, boom, boom, boom. Yes, I go, but I go slow. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I go, but I go slow. I go slow. I go slow. I go slow. So slow. Hold your breath and spin around. Jump off the cliff. To the underground Hypnotized by the changing lights Come with me, we'll reach new heights Hold your breath and spin around Jump off the cliff, dive into the underground Hypnotized by the changing lights Come with me, we'll reach new heights Hold your breath and spin around Jump off the cliff into the underground